Are you creating music on your iPhone or your iPad, but when you export it and listen to it somewhere else, it's not quite sounding the same? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a tip that may help out. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And in this one, we're talking about mixing in mono. So mono as opposed to stereo means all of the channels are summed down and the same is happening on the left as is happening on the right. Why is this important and why would you want to mix in mono on your iPhone or your iPad? Well, that's what we're going to dive in and talk about right now. So I'm here in GarageBand. This is my latest track called What You Deserve. At the moment, it sounds like this. Never had. And what we have in this mix is we've got two guitars. We've got one panned hard right, as you can see there, and we've got one panned hard left. Let's just solo these two and you'll take a listen. There's our left guitar right over on the left. And there's our right guitar right over on the right. Now, if you've got a track like this that has panning where you've got different instruments, what can happen is that when you're listening in stereo, it's sounding really cool. There's one on the left, one on the right. It's working well together. But what happens when you play it back on a mono device like an iPhone or an iPad or a Bluetooth speaker is that sometimes when they come together, those frequencies don't work well together. So mixing in mono can actually help show some of this. So let's show you how to go into mono mode here on the iPhone or the iPad. So what we're going to do is I'll just double tap on my button here. I'm going to come over to settings and in your settings here under general, you can scroll down here and go into accessibility. And it's the same on your iPhone or your iPad. If you then scroll down here under your hearing, you've got a mono audio option. So it is an accessibility option, but it will help because what it will do is it'll split any stereo signal and it will combine them together and put the exact same thing on the left and the right so that you can hear it in what is essentially mono. So let's tap on that one now. We'll double tap and come back here into GarageBand. Now what happens, let's put this left guitar soloed here and hit play. And now if we put the right guitar on. They're both sitting right in the middle. If you're listening on stereo headphones or stereo speakers, you'll hear they're both sitting in the middle. If we play them together. You can hear there that they're okay, but they're not kind of as separate as they were left and right. So what I may then want to do is come into my EQ, for example. I've already got the LRC5 EQ on here, and I may want to change some of the EQ curves. I want, might want to carve it out while I've got it in mono mode so that I can actually hear the difference that I'm making. And if we listen to the whole track here in mono... Because oh, if you're not too careful... You just might get what you deserve. What I'm hearing is that my vocals are actually too loud when I'm in mono mode. So this is a problem that I have is mixing my vocals too loud. So when it was in stereo, it was sounding okay. As soon as I put it in mono, those vocals started really coming through because the guitars are kind of squashed in and you're hearing more of that, uh, that frequency of my vocals. So what I may need to do here now is actually go in and drop the vocals down. So that's a couple of good things that you can do with mono mixing. It'll help you out. Now, when you finish, don't forget to come back out here to settings. Now, you can also search. So in the top here in your settings, you can just type mono and then it will take you straight into the mono audio option. You can tap it off and don't do what I do, which is forget to put it back into stereo. And then you're listening to your favorite track saying, why do these not quite sound right? They're not doing it for me today. Uh, so there you go. That is just a quick tip. It can really work. This along with referencing your mix, which we'll talk about in a future video, which means playing it on different devices. So grabbing your mix, playing it on headphones, playing it on speakers in the car, on a Bluetooth speaker, your home stereo. These things can actually really help you mix because that problem that a lot of folks have, including myself, is you listen to it, you're on your headphones, you're in stereo, it's sounding great, you go and play it somewhere else and it doesn't sound so good. So I hope this tip helped you out. There's two more videos which will help you create, record and release your best music down below. You can subscribe by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next video.